hello guys and welcome to a brand new video okay today uh, this is something new um, I've like uh, I'm a big fan of the fate franchise fate series uh, but uh, unfortunately I've never had the time to watch uh, Kara no Kyokai so I thought that uh, let me take the the Saturday and make it kind of like a movie reaction day so I'll be reacting to anime movies and I'm starting with the Kara no Kyokai series and I know that there is like seven movies I think uh, in this um, particular uh, Kara no Kyokai series so I'll be reacting to that and uh, the only thing I know about Kara no Kyokai is from Fate Grand Order that is uh, I know only know Shiki because Shiki is like a servant over at Fate Grand Order and uh, as far as I know uh, she has some kind of a special power something called uh, death perception so, and she can like see lines of death in objects and if you like uh, cut through that line uh, it uh, results in the immediate death of that object be it inanimate or animate living or non-living that's the only thing i know from uh, freight grand order because i've kind of researched into her uh, when i got the servant so other than that i have no idea about what this universe is i know this is like from the fate universe that is the same guy uh, uh, who made fate is also the creator of this i think like it's uh, from type moon and uh, yeah, I, I have pl played uh, uh, Tsukihime visual novel. Uh, other than Fate, I've, I only know Tsukihime, but I know nothing about this. And uh, Tsukihime was also, I've played it a long time ago and I've forgotten everything, almost everything. The only one I uh, remember is uh, that uh, blonde princess from the moon, uh, something Arusi at Brunster or something her name was. Anyways, I'm going on off on a tangent. Um, so yeah, uh, this is like... Uh, uh, like a brand new thing for me I don't know if it has any correlation with the fate universe or we're going to see any correlation to it or it will be some kind of like a different thing uh, we'll see and uh, so yeah I'll be like continuing this uh, e every Saturday uh, so be sure to I don't know when uh, when I uh, release this in YouTube if it is Saturday in your place or not but in my time time here it's Saturday here so like yeah so um, on this day i'll be doing uh, these movies uh, after seven weeks uh, that is almost like two months uh, i'll be switching to something else some other movies but now i'll be completing this so yeah so okay uh, let's get started uh, with kara no Kyokai. this is movie number one i'm uh, watching it uh, not uh, i mean by one two three four not in the uh, real order but uh, by the time it was aired so that uh, uh, it, this is like some kind of like 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 Bake Monogatari like uh, the timelines are kind of messed up I know that so I'm like watching it through uh, the air date not the real uh, chronological date I think they're called not that but the uh, airing date I'm watching it so this is movie number one I think yeah so yeah let's get started with uh, Kaan no Kyokai and okay, uh, this will be obviously a timer reaction and um, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer. Be sure to sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, so I'll be starting the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm, UFO team. Okay, this is a uh, UFO. Okay, so like uh, the animation will be pretty good, I think. Okay. What the hell is with the song? It's like extremely low over here, the sound. Just a sec. Strawberry. Ice cream? Hagen Das. Alright. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Rose family. They are thorns. Yep. Sundre in a nutshell. <laughs> um she's angry. Okay. Who is this? Some kind of ghost? She's like white almost. I can't hear the sound. What the hell? What is that? Some kind of fly? All right, the animation is quite beautiful. Like, uh, obviously, it's UFO table. Mm. This is Yuki Kajiura, isn't it? The song, like. I can feel that distinct kind of atmosphere of the song. And this is Yuki Kajiura. Damn. The song is beautiful. Wow, the ripple, ripple effect. God damn, this is like a quite an old uh, movie, but <laughs> damn, your table has off to you, man. Okay, she committed suicide. Oh, Thanatos. Hmm. Overlooking view. The house is quite empty. Nope. Ice cream, no ice cream. Fell from the roof. Suicide. Suicide. Family and friends. Hmm. Okay, who is it? Fourth. Similarities.
Hmm. Have not been paying attention to. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Had no say in the matter. Stepped out to Goshen. Okay. Mikia. Okay, his name is Mikia. Yeah, like, why the hell? It's too much work. <laughs> when our boy come back. Who? Okay, this is quite confusing. Anyways. Um, Well, this is starting out quite like uh, a bit of overwhelming. I mean, they're like saying a lot of words at the same time. And it's taking quite a bit of my attention span to catch up to everything, to follow everything. Okay, so this is like Bakemonogata. You have to like uh, listen to each and every word. To understand okay so there's some kind of accident over here doggy oh my god all right now that is pretty uh, her head oh my god she like jumped like that Another case. Okay, what are those things? Fifth Fujo building suicide. Okay. Second year girl at a local school. Stop at eight. What? Why? Oh, okay, yeah. Fall into decay. Oh. Hmm. Or it's been reversed. Hmm. Tonight, but a, a superiority like something. 
Distance. Okay, that's another way. Breadstrip inside. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Okay, so that's why people like commit suicide by like jumping from a high. Okay, like wow, this girl is quite. Brings comprehend. Mm hmm. Normal circumstances. Wow, this is like uh, increasing. Six, two more, yeah. Who are these? Oh, like what happened to him? He was like, okay, was that like from something from the past? The time, the time, what do you call that? The time frame is also kind of messed up in this show. Like it's showing something from the past or future before. Get in the car accidents. What happened to him? Like, Hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. Kokto, she knows of her. Is that the same person she called or someone else? I think someone else. Another one is left. This is the seventh one. Okay, that's her weapon, yeah. Like in FGO as well. Okay, this is quite spooky. Someone's laughing or crying? Wow, the atmosphere and everything is quite good. Oh my god, that's scary. This is like a horror game, what the? And it's still not even night. Oh, 
Oh, that that thing is going in her head. Yeah. Oh my! God damn it! Like. Okay, this is not good. Wait, her hand is like puppet hand? Okay, that's new. I didn't know that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was only possible because her hand was like... Puppet. Oh my! <sighs> She's always dreaming. Hmm. I was talking about that boy, isn't it? Uh, with the glasses. So this is how how she kills. Oh my god. Okay, that was real flesh. Okay, you should probably get that treated. Okay. Uh... Wait, her hand is also like puppet. So why did blood come out? Artificial arm. Okay, there's a lot of things that has been hap already happened, but we don't know. And these are all puppets, so she kind of like makes artificial limbs, I think. Hmm. Oh, okay. So there's like real thing inside the prosthetic. So she like makes dolls. Okay, that's quite realistic. Doll. Hmm. So she like uh, he like went. Okay, her his soul has been like taken out or something. Did a ghost do that to him? Like he went to that building and yeah, I think that's what happened. Oh, he. 
so this was like the last message he sent August 8th <clears throat> no ice cream or is it still there yeah it's still there Oh yeah, her hand, she can use it. Uh, that's quite, quite uncomfortable with one hand. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> that's quite um what? Okay. <laughs> I think she's going to do that now. This raincoat. It's it's Saber's raincoat from Fate Stay Night. Okay, let's go hunt some ghosts. This would be an amazing horror game, like... The atmosphere and everything... Okay, let's. Okay, here. Oh, they're, they're like. Oh, yeah, we saw these ghosts before. Okay, her eyes changed. Okay, one down, or did it go? Will it like regenerate? Yeah, these are like the lines of death. Okay, the final...
this is the final one or final two so they're like different ghosts last one okay let's go she jumped just like that but how how far did she jump like damn the music god all right Okay, this is the first time we see a ghost actually scared. Oh, but she's really, really scared. Um. That won't work. Oh my god. Is that a like power or something? I don't know. I didn't know. Power suggestion. Yearnings. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> After you. So like, is, is it going to be okay now, like... Lilies. Okay, so sh she was like in a coma or something? There was an out-of-body experience? That's why she was scared. Okay, okay, it makes makes sense now. Mm. Who is she? Like the first suicide victim or something? Is it Shiki? It is chicken, isn't it? Or who is it? No, it's not Shiki. It's it's that girl, red haired girl, isn't it? I forgot her name, the red haired girl. Something like Toka or Ao or something like that. Toko? Oh, yeah, please. I also want to hear. Toko, okay. Aosaki Toko, okay.
does she have some kind of disease or something? Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. She's blind, okay. Wasn't me. Still, it's my spirit too. Two bodies for one. What? Yeah, like why? Also, oh, so they were like also like her. Then didn't go low as. All the way to the hospital. Same time. Who is he meeting? So she didn't want all this, like she d did those things unwillingly, or not unwillingly, but she wanted one thing, but another thing happened. Okay, um, wow, that's a good one. Yeah. Only able to float, yeah. Oh my god, she's like... God damn, she's like going to jump. How is she walking?
God damn it. This is the last suicide from here. I hope. And he's dead. <laughs> Long sleep. <laughs> he has no idea. Eight and the final one. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah okay yeah that is pretty ultimately it's the way out if you're strong enough to keep going or not that's the main thing hmm Yeah, no one knows what will happen. Okay. Dragonfly? Butterfly. <laughs> oh 
everyone's ice cream. <laughs> What's with that face? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, was that the end? Fifty minutes almost. Okay, that was quite good. Not quite good. That was extremely good. Like, oh my god, this music. I think this is Yuki Kajira, isn't it? Like, uh, is this like Kalafina? Like, uh, I know that uh, Kalafina and Yuki Kajira used to work together before. And now they're like separate or uh, Kalafina doesn't sing now, I think, most probably. But Yuki Kajira still makes songs because we've seen, uh, uh, I think she was in Kimetsu no Yaiba as well, Yuki Kajira and many others. So, wow, this song, these type of songs, like, uh, oh my god, it's so good, the song. Okay, as I was saying, like, these type of movies, like, nothing much happens, but still a lot of things happens in these movies. Wow. Like, I'm talking and I'm, like, hearing the song. Okay, um, as I was saying, like, there's a lot, like, as I've said, uh, Monogatari vibes. Uh, if you've seen Baka Monogatari or the Monogatari series, you're going to see like people talk the whole episode. Nothing happens. Like there's literally one episode where they like was in the same place and they were like talking, but like that the there was how they were saying the words, the way they were saying the animation, the way they were presenting the talk. It felt like a second. Like you s s just like. These type of movies or uh, anime episodes are like this. You sit down, you start watching, you see two people talking, and suddenly it's like it's the end. But then you realize like, wow, it's all been 24 minutes and all they were doing was talking and it just felt like a second. Like it was so engaging, so interesting. And that is the main thing that draws me towards Monogatari. Like, and, and these type of like, uh, anime or anime movies and shows like this one like what happened here Let, let's just summarize it first thing that happened was like we saw Shiki and uh, Kokto his name was isn't it yeah Kokto we saw Toko and then we saw like he was like uh, Kokto was like kind of unconscious or something Shiki went to the building Got her arm cut off, came back, got her arm reattached, went again, uh, killed the ghost or out of body experience, whatever that is. Uh, the, the person who was uh, experiencing the out of body experience came back to, his, uh, to, to her body. Togo came in, gave a little advice, and then she committed suicide, ending the uh, uh, chain suicide events. Then Shiki went back, Kokuto came back as well, and that's it. That's it for the 50 episode, but the way it was presented, the way everything was like, the story was told. It felt as, as if a lot of things happened, but it didn't. Okay, let's see.
계수죠. 10 years. 그 who's this girl? 아자카. 음, mm, yeah, definitely. Like yeah, kind of unrelatable. Yeah. Nineteen ninety eight. Okay, this is pretty Thanatos. Does that mean overlooking view? I guess. Okay, I'm not going to see the next chapter preview because, like, it's going to be spoilerish. I guess. Okay, um, so yeah, that was uh, movie number one of Karano Kyokai. Now, uh, as I was saying, like, before uh, when the ending uh, credit scene was showing like uh, these type of shows are like you sit down uh, and uh, nothing much happens but still feels as if a lot of things happened like this is the charm of these type of shows and i really love that and especially like i, I was not expecting this I, I thought this was going to be a like um pretty normal movie but like this has fate fate stay nine vibes but still the way it is presented and everything it does not resemble fate at all like it kind of resembles fate's uh, fate but uh, it this resembles more bakemonogatari and uh, nishio isin's work uh, that is the bakemonogatari author and um, yeah like uh, what can i say i really love these type of like uh, nothing much happens in these type of uh, episodes or mo movies but still like it's like it's quite interesting and intriguing to like uh, hear the conversations and this girl uh, toko like there are a lot of things she said in this episode was like extremely good like i can't like the first thing that was fly and float thing uh, the, the thing with suicide as as she, as she said and a lot of more things like i have to go back and check because uh, there were a lot of things she said and uh, like the thing that happened here was um as far as i can understand like this girl uh, i forgot her name again anyways the main girl who was uh, who committed uh, who was like the main uh, person behind all of this uh, she was like terminally ill for 10 years like uh, 10 years is a lot of time and uh, as uh, uh, by the things that she said i can understand as far as that um uh, she was like she, like the thing that happened with her was like she was at a very like uh, in the building she was uh, located i mean uh, when where she was admitted in the hospital room it was uh, quite high up so she uh, like saw the overlooking view uh, down below now uh, as she said that uh, uh, over like looking at the, uh, something from very high up kind of gives you the feeling that yeah you do not believe belong in this place in this huge world like your uh, uh, what do you call that uh, po point of view is a lot higher and you see a lot of the world from where you are standing and from like uh, and that kind of gives you the feeling that yeah I'm like a small speck of dust in this world like uh, this world is so huge and I'm like nothing and this kind of like gives you the like impression to like jump i think as far as it is said and like uh, it, it like it gives you kind of like an otherworldly feeling like um, like i am pretty scared like i know i've, I've seen this i am myself i'm pretty scared of heights 
like uh, I like I don't have uh, like that phobia I, I, I forgot the phobia's name whatever that is like the f fear of heights I don't ha have that but still like uh, whenever I like watch something from top of a uh, building or uh, from a roof um, and I look down like that thing scares me like it feels as if like the the whole world is so big and I'm so small and it feels as if like if I jump from here and if I kind of like uh, by chance if I uh, trip from here that will be the end and it, the, like this thing also gives you the like uh, what what should I call it like an unusual feeling of like what would happen if I jump now like <sighs> Like what can I say like these type of feelings happen and I, I, I got it what they were trying to say like it uh, and I kind of got the meaning as well like I always felt like why why does this happen what is this and what type of feeling is this and uh, this kind of like answered my question like yeah if you uh, think about it uh, like what do you call it if you think about it the, the uh, meaning behind that is this like you it feels as if like you're nothing in this world like you're a small speck of dust in this world and it won't matter even if you like like uh, be here or not be here like it feels you uh, makes you feel powerless in front of the whole world and uh, like that was done extremely like uh, that was shown here extremely well and I'm quite impressed by that thing uh, that they tried to explain uh, I could understand this but I might be wrong like this uh, show was like um, saying a lot of things and kind of some things were like kind of like uh, what do you call it uh, <laughs> difficult to understand in such a short face like they were like talking one one after the other and like you have to like uh, read it uh, process it inside your memory and understand the hidden meaning behind it and I know that there were a lot of things like they were like under what do you call it uh, meanings behind something like what are they called metaphor not metaphor metaphors euphemism isn't it called yeah i think the correct word is euphemism uh, there are a lot of hidden behind uh, meanings behind each and every word and i think i missed some of them like uh, like i felt some parts like they were trying to say something more uh, but i was unable to understand i think i missed something but that thing i kind of got like at, as far as i can get like uh, that um, exp like uh, that thing that she said like uh, our point of view well, uh, higher point of view and as far as uh, as she said like uh, I was like looking uh, down below and like suddenly uh, it felt as if like I'm not here I was like floating and I think that was the time when she stopped seeing like she became blind and like as she like as she has like seen that scenery over and over and over again uh, even if she became blind it felt as if she was like uh, flying uh, above and it felt that type uh, and one thing I did not get here like if you guys know uh, the reason please comment down below uh, one thing I did not kind of get was that uh, there were like other ghosts as well like uh, she said that these were like spirits uh, of people who jumped like uh, but uh, the thing is like uh, if they were like spirits of people who jumped then why did the suicides occur if they're already dead like or is it something like this like they were uh, spirits of uh, people who have already jumped and they like instigated other people to jump as well uh, that might be it but uh, that was a little bit of confusing and uh, I did not get that part but um, I got, got the kind of like what they were trying to say like they like she uh, kind of became this kind of out of body experience started having this out of body experience and she kind of made these kind of spirits and she tried to call them like to become her friend or to uh, stay with her but um, like uh, that did not happen and her kind of uh, the thing that she was trying to tell backfired and uh, like people jumped and everything and the same thing happened with uh, Kokto as well like she, uh, Kokro was like uh, carrying bouquets. I don't know who was admitted to that hospital. Might be some of his acquaintance or something. I don't know. It was not said here. But she, uh, but he brought bouquets uh, each and every day, and she just wanted to like talk with him, and uh, like uh, the and that out of body experience kind of like took his soul out, uh, as far as I could understand. Mm and uh, the another thing i was unable to understand the hidden meaning behind was that dragonfly and that um butterfly symbolism like 
I know that they were trying to say something. There was some hidden meaning behind that. But I could not figure that out. Like, I'll have to watch that portion again later on to get that part. And uh, it flapped its wing and as hard as it was trying to keep up. It had fluttered its wings as if it were floating. It could not weightless. It felt when it floated. Okay. And the butterfly had gotten a taste of flying. Just a sec, let me like... Dragonfly was... Uh, then a butterfly showed up. Okay. It flapped its wings as hard as it could, trying to keep up the dragonfly that is. But it was too much. In the end, it tumbled to the ground in exhaustion. Okay. It had fluttered its wings as if it were floating. It, I think it could have stayed in the air longer. But since the butterfly had already gotten a taste of flying, it could no longer stand how weightless it felt when it floated. That's why it flew. Wait, what? Okay, this is this is confusing. Air longer. Oh, okay, I get it. Like uh, they're saying that the dragonfly uh, was not flying. She, he was trying to keep uh, himself afloat by f uh, flapping his wings, but uh, it was unable to do that, so it f fell down and because it was exhausted. But in case of the butterfly, uh, the butterfly was had gotten already gotten a taste of flying, so she could uh, so so that butterfly could not keep uh, could, did not want to float again, so uh, she kept flying. Um, so I think this is like this is trying to say that once you get like get uh, into something, uh, and whenever you feel like yeah, uh, before this my uh, uh, my situation was bad, and now uh, since I've gotten the taste of the good thing, he tries more to like continue that. I think I think this is like related to Shiki or something, or not Shiki, but uh, the girl who uh, committed. Uh, uh, suicide last that is the main girl here my my brain is not so big brain <laughs> so um, I kind of get that they're trying to say something here but I'm not kind of grasping it I'd, I'd have to think about it more later on like um, I think that the thing they try to say here is like extremely important like the main uh, moral or of this story something like that but yeah like uh, another thing is that said that uh, Toko kind of like uh, advised that girl like uh, you could fly or you could float whichever you want but she as she was already floating and she didn't I think she did not want to fly and she had already like gotten accustomed to floating she chose that and she did not choose to fly like here is the thing here is the thing flying is like doing it voluntarily and floating is involuntarily so I think the time the Toko kind of like tried to say that if you want you can keep on living if you really try but if you don't try or if you, uh, if, uh, you like give in or give up uh, and that is floating and flying is like trying to live and uh, they also said another thing is like um, like uh, the thing with suicide when uh, Kokuto said that if something happens to me which kind of endangers everyone uh, I might commit suicide but there's a big but here but people who do not do that has the real strength that suicide is something that you do when you have given up and uh, living uh, keep uh, keeping on living uh, withstanding each and every problems takes courage and strength and uh, that is flying and giving up is uh, or killing yourself that is floating and as she said as she said that uh, we're standing e every uh, uh, what do you call it uh, problem and everything and still keeping on living uh, that takes courage and he's weak but Shiki said otherwise that no you're not weak and uh, yeah like there were a lot of interesting moments in this uh, uh, movie 
and i'm really liking this uh, this is uh, just just the first movie and um, as i'm seeing a pattern here that you have to think a lot you have to really think a lot in this and there are a lot of hidden meanings a lot of things and uh, i'm really liking this and i might not get something uh, if you, if there is someone here who's watching my video and who kind of like watch this a lot uh, a lot of times and kind of know everything i mean not know everything but kind of know each and every uh, symbolism or anything uh, after en ending the movie uh, please like uh, if i am wrong about something or if i like uh, i did not catch something please be sure to uh, mention that in the comment section because i really am like quite intrigued by these type of episodes and everything so yeah that was amazing and the music oh my god the music okay like um i really hope this quality of music kind of like uh like is uh like uh, all the other movies also give type this type of quality music so <laughs> like i really love like yuki kajiura's um, music style and everything and um, yeah this is amazing oh another yuki kajiura song i remember uh, from fate stay night as well uh, uh, not fate stay night from um el milo ks files and the ending song uh, that's also yuki kajiura and like the, the, these songs are amazing i've i've heard a lot of songs from, from her but i forgot i i can't can't remember it in right now but uh, her songs are amazing so yeah thank you guys for watching uh this was a long video obviously because it it is like movie reaction uh if you if someone is still here if you're still here watching thanks a lot <laughs> like uh <laughs> I don't know how this will do on YouTube but still I'm trying like I I I I really see people reacting to movies and I um, like I that's why I thought like yeah if no one does let me do it so yeah anyway guys thanks for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't and uh, what else yeah comment down below as I said like if I got anything wrong or if I did not catch anything be sure to comment that down below and uh, i'll see you guys uh, with a new karanoki okai movie reaction next week yeah next week um until then goodbye and have a nice day